Hello friends, and we're back. And today we're gonna to talk about Medicare. All the information I'm gonna tell you today, you can find on Medicare's website, which is www.medicare.gov, G-O-V, okay? So, Medicare is health insurance for people 65 and over. You can sign up three months before you turn 65. You may be eligible to get Medicare earlier if you have a disability, end renal stage disease, or AL, ALS, which is also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. Medicare is a fee-for-service health insurance program that has two parts, part A, part B. You typically pay a portion of the cost for covered services as you get them. Under original Medicare, you don't have coverage through a Medical Advantage plan or another type of Medicare health plan. Original Medicare. You can go to any doctor or hospital that takes Medi Medicare anywhere in the United States. In most cases, you don't need a referral to see a specialist. Part A is hospital insurance. Helps cover inpatient care in hospitals, skilled nursing facility care, hospice care, and home health care. And in later videos, I'm going to be talking about skilled nursing facilities, um, hospice, and home health care. Part B is just medical insurance. It helps cover services from doctors and other health care providers. Um, it also covers outpatient care, home health care, durable medical equipment like wheelchairs, walkers, hospital beds, and other equipment like that and as well as many preventative services like screenings, flu shots, vaccines, and your annual wellness visit. Cost. For Part B covered services, that's the medical insurance, you usually pay 20% of the Medicare approved amount after you meet your deductible. This is called your co-insurance. You pay a premium, a monthly payment for Part B. If you choose to join a Medicare drug plan, you'll pay a separate premium for your Medicare drug coverage or Part D. Okay, you see how this is, why it's so important to know which Medicare your parents have because each section is separate. There's no yearly limit on what you pay out of pocket unless you have supplemental coverage like Medicare Supplement Insurance or Medigap. You can get Medigap to help pay your remaining out of pocket costs like your 20% coinsurance. Or you can use coverage from a former employer, union, or Medicaid. Coverage. Original Medicare covers most medically necessary services and supplies in hospitals, doctor's offices, and other healthcare facilities. Original Medicare doesn't cover some benefits like eye exams, most dental care, and routine exams. You can join a separate Medicare drug plan to get Medicare drug coverage Part D. In most cases, you don't have to get a service or supply approved ahead of time for Medicare original Medicare to cover it. So now there's a section called Part C, Medicare Advantage Work. And this is a combination of A, B, and um, usually Part D. So Medicare Advantage bundles your Part A, which is the hospital insurance, Part B, which is your medical insurance, and usually Part D, which is your prescription drug coverage, into one plan. Why they just don't do this for everybody is beyond me. Plans may offer some extra benefits that original Medicare doesn't cover, like vision, hearing, and dental services. So if you, um, had, you know, need glasses, um, have hearing issues, um, if your loved one has a lot of dent needs a lot of dental work, then looking in to see if they can afford and if it works for them, a Part C Medicare Advantage plan would probably be a really good idea, especially um, with the hopes that it covers vision, hearing, and dental. You join a plan offered by a Medicare-approved private company that follows the rules set by Medicare. Costs for monthly premiums and services you get vary depending on which plan you join. 
Plans must cover all emergency and urgent care and almost all medically necessary services original Medicare covers. Some plans tailor their benefit packages to offer additional benefits to treat specific conditions. That's why it's really important to seek out a health insurance broker. With Medicare Advantage, you need to use doctors who are in the plans network, and this is for non-emergency, non-urgent care uses. Just for your regular annual checkup, you need to use a doctor within the plans network. Um, with Medicare Advantage, you may pay a premium for the plan in addition to the monthly Part B premium. Plans may have a $0 premium or, or may help pay all of or part of your Part B premiums. With Medicare Advantage, you can't buy or use, supplemental, uh, use separate supplemental coverage like Medigap. And you must have both a Part E, a Part A, and a Part B to join a Medicare Advantage plan which makes sense. So how does Medicare work with, uh, with my other insurance? So if you happen to have health insurance like from your union or um, if you're still employed, so how does Medicare work with your other insurance? So when you have Medicare and other health insurance, uh, one will pay first called a primary payer and the other second one is called a secondary payer. Uh, like we have a secondary insurance for our daughter. So the primary insurance is the health insurance plan that my husband has through his work and that's primary. And then the secondary insurance um, or supplemental insurance we have for our daughter is, is the secondary. So all bills would go through primary first and anything left over goes through secondary. If you have other insurance, who pays first depends on several items, like if you're still working, the type of insurance you have, and if you have a special situation like end-stage renal disease. Uh, end-stage renal disease is, is uh, failing of the kidneys. So how does Medicare work with other insurance? If you have Medicare and other health insurance, like from a group health plan, retiree coverage, or Medicaid, each type of coverage is called a payer. And when there's more than one payer, coordination of benefit rules decides who pays first. The primary payer pays what it owes on your bills first and then sends the rest to the secondary or supplemental payer. In some rare cases, there may also be a third payer. Medicare is a beast unto itself. There are a lot of parts and can feel very overwhelming. And that's why it's a good idea to consider using a health insurance broker to determine which plan or plans are best for your parents. You can go to medicare.gov to read all this information and more and learn how you can get Medicare coverage. In my next video, I will go over Medicaid, what it is and who can apply for it. Thanks for joining me today. Be sure to check out the other videos on my channel if you haven't seen them yet. And don't forget to subscribe so you learn when the next video is posted. Hug your loved ones tight. Take care. Until next time, TTFN. Ta-ta for now.